Saurabh Ganguly. Pass one for toss. Saurabh, what are you going to do? We're going to bowl. This is not a surprising decision given the way the results have gone in this series so far, is it? Yeah, we're going to chase. You know, we've chased well last game. Uh, and it's going to be a lot of dew in the night uh, when we when we bat later. So we're going to we're going to have a bowl. It's gone for the pull, and the first boundary comes up for West Indies with a good authentic pull shot. Chris Gale off the mark as well. Again, it's third man that he goes after. Srinath this time cannot get there. So boundary to West Indies, another one to Chris Gale. The old adage, you're going to flash, flash hard. Absolutely thrashed at this Chris Gale. No chance for Srinath. So big ground, but still look at it. He gave it the kitchen sink, gave it his all. 25 on the board of the five overs that have been bowled by the Indians. And that one is pitched right up and hammered straight down the pitch. That was asking for trouble. And another ball has flown on the offside for another boundary for West Indies. Well, the crowd's suddenly a little bit quiet. They can't believe it. But this is another screamer right out of the screws. Now, short and wide. And another day, it might have gone to the man at backward point. But he's just smashing it, using the pace of the bowler and giving it the full treatment. That's pretty to watch. Lashish Nera just trying to bowl the right line, sacrificing pace and swing for it. Even a good line is not helping him too much. He's really climbed into Ashish Nehra. There goes another one. Even quicker this time. 0 0.02 seconds to read the advertising hoarding, that one. <laughs> well, I tell you what, this is great stuff. This is what one-day cricket's all about. Pressure on the opening new ball bowler. And it is all go here in Amrabad. Look at that. Lean back. The old Calypso Kings are back in town certainly low in confidence at the moment few senior men just talking to Ashish Nehra three boundaries on the trot for him so 12 runs already the first three balls no major changes in the field after that last boundary he's gone over the top and it's gone all the way that's quite an incredible hit by Chris Gale so after three boundaries we have a six well I tell you what he didn't quite get hold of this either. He's got a thickish inside edge. Watch the head go back a bit. And I'll tell you something. That has gone a long way. What I think is a bit of a mishit. And it's still all gone all the way for half a dozen. Mabel Hines putting some meat behind that shot. There's a huge gap on the onside. That's a real sprint. He's run close to about 75 yards to get there. Morley Karthik is the fielder. Three runs to Wavell Hines. Tremendous shot once again from uh, Chris Gale. He's a man in a hurry. It's been a hectic start here by the West Indies. Flurry of boundaries. The fielders have been scurrying for cover. And this man hits the ball. It stays hit. And he's one of the hardest hitters of the cricket ball when in full flow. 54 for no loss. And... Uh, Ashish Nera has taken some serious tap. Can he bounce back? That is huge. That's a monstrous hit. That should be a dozen. That's six more added to the score. There's no doubt this man hits the ball very, very hard. We were talking about timing and the power a couple of games ago. Well, they are both combined to hit that ball that far. And especially at this age, Ravi, he's still a very young man. At the West Indies, 61 in the eighth over. Rebel Hines clears it off. The crowd is quiet, but uh, this is terrific entertainment. Already seven boundaries by Gale, two by Hines, and two sixes as well by Chris Gale. Inside edge, goes past Dravid, and into the boundary. So 50 for Chris Gale. And it's come in very quick time. 52 of just 30 balls. This is Chris Gale's 14th half century in this form of the game. Hines getting into the act, but... 
<laughs> what a hit that is. That is a long boundary. Just for a moment, I thought Murli Karthik might get underneath it. But that ball has disappeared into the crowd over deep mid wicket. This is another boundary. Again, heaved over the onside. One ball to go already. 15 runs of this over again. That's taken. It's done the trick. Change of angle has got the outside edge. West Indies lose their first wicket. But 80 runs already on the board. And a wicket goes down for the West Indies. A few boos around again. Well, seems as if that's going to be the mood of the day. It's 80 for one. Mohamed Kaif, there could be run out here. Run out by Yards. Chris Gale had no interest in that single. Marlon Samuels was convinced there was an easy single to be run. He virtually ran the full length of the pitch and in the end a simple run out. Big mix up, but it's that man again, Mohamed Kaif. Good throw because he was moving in the opposite direction. His momentum was taking him away from the stumps. He's a superb fielder, one of the very best. And Samuels is in trouble. But he's gone for five, 90 for two. Average of 206, and that's because he's only been out once. Over the top. Good use of the feet from Ramnar Sawan. He was sensed the pressure was building, and he's relieved himself through the aerial route. Young Murli Karthik shouldn't mind this too much because it's a good delivery. There is flight in it. There is uh, the inclination to spin the ball. But it's also a bold shot by Sarwan. And that will push Srinath, who's not the quickest. And his football is not the best. And that is not going to impress the captain. Well, he was sprinting to his left and once he knew that he was within reach of the ball to catch it absolutely safely he had to bend down and get his left arm going but that was a bit of an ask that's in the air Srinath getting underneath it and he's tipped it over the bar so that will be a six be interesting to see whether he got his hands to it before he crossed the line and that uh, should be a six yeah, pretty sure it's gone all the way for the maximum. Now, got right underneath of it, Sawan. And Javagal, he's been using the boot a few overs ago. This time, gets a little bit of a hand on it. And I think he possibly tipped it over, or was it just inside? Just inside. So, just the boundary. That's a fine shot. That's a great hit for six. That's gone flat. It's gone all the way. What a tremendous strike that is. He didn't step out, just one stride forward and hit through the line. Well, that's gone away fine. We'll have to wait for the umpire signal. Just a little bat on that. And there's the 100. Well, quite a few, not quite a few, a lot of people in the stand standing up and applauding recognizing this very good knock by Chris Neal. It's 176 for two. Sawan on 49. Sawan on 50. What a series he's having. That's clearly there and gone a long way. Chris Gale realizing that after this over only 15 will be left and the West Indians need a score of more than 300 so he brings up the 200 with a 6 realizing that they need to get to a score of around 2, 325, 330 to be safer on this track well that got through thought it would have been stopped at one point it's gone all the way he's gone in the air and wide of Srinath for another boundary just for a moment we thought uh, he'd gone into a slumber Chris Gale no he's very much alive and kicking oh you better believe it disappeared has it gone all the way or just bounced inside just hit the ropes hit it on it so there you go get the arms up and thank you Harry well done son Harry Haran there 
signaling the sixth. The fifth for Chris Gale. And another one has that gone on the top. Chris Gale with his amazing power continues to fascinate me. And it might just go to hand here. It does. So Chris Gale has been dismissed by a full toss from Virendra Sehwa. Murli Karthik has taken a catch, but he has also done some terrible damage to his hand, right hand. I was just going to say, this is a simple catch. It's a full toss from Virendra Sehwa. You can see the outside of the blade from Chris Gale. Murli uh, Karthik comes in, but his closest finger is a little bit fractionally early. Gale has to go, though, for 140. And the West Indies, 238 for three. You can see there no relief for the Indian bowlers. Chris Gale gone. Another informed batsman takes his place. Shiv Narayan Chandapal. Best of 74 in this series. He's gone on the leg side and he may have picked up the gap. So another boundary for Sarwan. Just a bit too many full tosses at the moment from Virendra Sehwag. At the moment, he's complaining to Mohammed Kaif for coming in too much. He thought he should have been on the edge of the circle. Over the top goes Sarwan and maybe straight to Sanjay Bangar who drops that one. The spare of thought for the fielder is looking into the sun. We mentioned that at that position, you're directly staring at the sun. Just wonder whether that was the reason. Well, I'm not going to spare a thought for Sanjay Banga. You've got a cap on, son, and wear the sunglasses. You've got to wear sunglasses. This day and age, you've got those there as an apparatus to wear. And I'm sorry, if you're going to be on the fence over there, that's what you've got to do, Sanjay Mandraka, surely. Point taken, Danny. And I think he saw it early, got into a fairly good position to catch that one. Then maybe at the last minute, just ended up too much on the right, the ball did. There you can see it. And he likes to play the sweep shot, but it still uh, doesn't clear the field. And now, Harbhajan Singh is pleased with a hint of anger behind that particular dismissal. But India's got another wicket, an important one of Shiv Narayan Chandapal. Crucial wicket this, because he's such a good player at the death, and particularly in this series. And he's gone early though, just the three, 258 for four. Carl Hooper, who didn't play the last match with sore knees is back in action that's a fine shot inside out he's found the gap that's slapped away on the offside he's found the gap and found the boundary as well that's what West Indies need they need to find the boundaries in these final overs Ram Naresh Sarwan has moved on into the 90s he's still to get an international 100 there's that smash back and hit extremely hard so another boundary here for the West Indies just one ball remember has been bowled in this over and eight runs have been conceded four wides and now this boundary and he's got hold of that and he's found the onside boundary now that's a very poor effort in the deep Sanjay Banga will not be happy with that effort neither will be the bowler or the captain and that's a good cut shot again that is uh, extremely well played this is a great over for the West Indies four balls bowled 17 runs scored and Hooper playing his part as West Indies go past 300 and again that's delicate that's a classy shot Boundaries continue to flow as many as four in this over, including the four wides. Then it makes it five. 21 has come off this over, one ball remaining. Yeah, very good over for the West Indies. Good batting from the West Indies captain. That's what he can do is uh, vary his pace. Now that Hooper is not coming down the track, he can afford to bowl a little slower. This time he finds mid off, but a great over that for the West Indies. 22 coming off it. Gone away, square of the wicket. Hooper will come back for two. Well, he's been in the firing line, Sanjay Bangar, but good effort on that occasion. Another couple. Oh, that 
that's excellent work good improvisation this is experience coming into play just walking across the stumps using the pace another boundary to end the over 316 for four the West Indies he's got that fine there is deep backward square leg Sarwan will come back for the second so the opportunity is still there he's on 97 he needs the boundary and three runs of this last ball and it'll be a, a replay of the first game of this series Ravi this time the boundary was needed to win the game for the West Indies I appreciate this cricket well he won't get it this time there's every chance if there's an overthrow that's his best opportunity but he ends up 99 not out so he gets closer but it's been a very fine innings he'll be thoroughly pleased with that effort even though he's missed out on 100 it's a tremendous innings for his team and after 50 overs the West Indies 324 for four and that's an area he likes it was almost a one-handed push but he starts off with a boundary that's a lovely delivery bang on target Sebag has no answer and India have lost their first wicket that is a cracking ball from Dylan jumped from a length and surprised the little man good bouncer that's the direction in which the wall you want the ball going certainly don't want anything outside the off stump well directed bouncer just about shoulder height previous Lakshman comes out to the middle India had lost a wicket in the first over as well played first boundary for the Indian captain that's edged there's no third slip third man can't cut it off well Ganguly looking to improvise and gets it away just pulled back inside and Chandra Paul Ganguly will get three in fact it was Ram Naresh Sarwan who pulled it back that's edged and put down straight to second slip Chris Gale has put it down and uh, Lakshman gets a reprieve well India will be looking for some breaks and this is the first one straight in and straight out that got there very quickly I think the slips certainly can afford to stay a bit deeper than they have been staying because the ball is getting at a good height that's in the air there is third man and I just get the feeling he might have touched the rope the catch has been taken we'll have to take another look the fielder in the deep is celebrating but has the foot touched the line that's the question to be asked Vasper Drake's is confident but the third umpire has been called for well he seems quite convinced that he didn't touch the rope but he seems to look back quite quickly this is interesting he has touched it that's the correct decision six signal and giving himself room and he's found the gap and just pull back inside the boundary the ball just slowing up in the outfield that's gone away fine and into the boundary the line wasn't good there from Collins and it's a neat deflection by Saurav Ganguly that's a lovely shot it's all timing and class consecutive boundaries here for Ganguly and a good start to the over the finger goes up that is a good catch by Ridley Jacobs a good decision by umpire Hariyar and he was off in a flash there lifting the finger the crowd stunned into silence not the best of deliveries but it has done the trick very good catch by Ridley Jacobs having to move down that leg side and Ganguly knew it was very disappointed immediately it's 45 for 2 Rahul Dravid has come out to the middle 
has had a good series so far. Strike rate over 100. It's gone for the pull. It's gone over the wicket keeper's head for a boundary for Rahul Dravid. Now he's played that superbly on the leg side. One bounce into the mid-wicket boundary. Right in the slot on that occasion. Very well played from BBS Laxman. And again the full shot, this time final. Two boundaries in the over for BBS Laxman. Driven to mid-off. And we have a simple run out here. Or maybe not. Dravid wants the run in the end. But we've seen some high quality cricket until now. That certainly was not quality cricket from Basba Driggs. This is as simple a run out as you can ever hope to effect. Look at Dravid, he's trapped. And Driggs, well, it looks like a three-pointer. Very far off target. All he had to do was lob it to Jacobs. And he did not get the distance right. But Dravid uh, responds with a spanking boundary on the offside. Brings the crowd alive yet again. 12 overs gone, 73 for two. Excellent timing. That's when Lachman is at his best. Hitting on the up. And sweetly timed. The ball racing away to the boundary. That's a trademark Lachman shot. It wasn't all that bad a delivery. And that's put away in style. Short. And it gets the treatment. Lakshman onto it in a flash. That's an easy single. And that's a half century for BBS Lakshman. That's straight back down the ground. And that's four. Making room for himself, he's wanting that room outside the off stump, that's where he's best. This time he withdrew outside the leg stump and played it right over Weston Drake's head. It's a perfect shot, the safest position on the ground. That's a big blow, how far has it got? Just falling short of Ryan Hines. He gets four for it. So Lakshman has taken it upon himself to bring that boundary every over. A very brave attempt by Ryan Hines there. But eventually not reaching it, neither was he able to able to prevent the boundary. He's gone a long way behind square. He won't make it. He's four more. That's the boundary of Carl Hooper that was much required from the Indian standpoint. Ricardo Powell, good word work, and he's gone. Very good work that by Ricardo Powell again. They should have known that's not the man who's running singles to. Oh, this is pretty inexplicable. You, you just never saw either of the batsmen actually commit himself to the run, and yet they were just ambling past each other, not calling, not saying no, just take a look. At no stage did either of them want to really run. Powell had the ball, just gave it to Hooper, and nobody's in the frame. So that is a very very fine breakthrough now this was bound to happen there were a number of occasions when they have these hesitancies 66 to Lakshman 148 now for three India Yuvraj Singh coming in at number five for India hasn't done a great deal in this series so far but hasn't been coming to the crease with many overs left either he's hit it over the mid-wicket fielder and placed to perfection welcome boundary for Dravid and brings up Rahul Dravid's 50. Well played Dravid yet again in the series. He's just uh, sort of eased that ball onto the leg side. Not a good delivery, but a good shot. That's a big hit. This is where he's dangerous. That is a massive blow into the crowd. He did that quite easily, you Raj Singh was wide of off stump and he just dragged it from outside off stump onto the 
onside that perhaps went about 12 to 15 rows back effortless a shift in the air and taken that is a lucky break for the West Indies Juvraj looking to chip it over Hooper Hooper was on the edge of the circle he made no mistake and what a wicket and at what a time for the West Indies India lose their fourth that's why Mervyn Dillon was brought back into the attack the West Indies need to take wickets been a bit expensive but the wicket is important it's 209 for four Mohamed Kev comes out to the middle now that's a very good shot inside out over extra cover Dravid finds the boundary it's pulled away another couple added to the score Trying to get it there, so Kev's decided he's going to open up a bit. That's a simple catch. The bouncer has done the trick. Again going for the big one over mid on and only top edging it. So West Indies pick up another wicket. India five down. Sanjay Bangar early days in his one day career. Well played, just using the pace. Death touch thrown by Sanjay Banga. I've not seen many Indians do that. That was very intelligently played by Bangar. And as uh, Ian Bishop was saying that Sanjay Bangar will have to bang a few to score the runs quickly, he taps one to the third man. Well, he hasn't hit that in the area that he aspired to, but he's got enough bat onto it. And it's gone away for four. He was aiming straight down the ground, thick outside half of the bat. He still had enough on it. And that's the second boundary of the over. Well, the bowler is celebrating, the keeper is celebrating. And all the umpire says is please get on with the game. Well, that was interesting. No, oh, oh, Harry. He's got one wrong. That's one problem the umpires face when they're looking at the no-ball and then they have to look at, look at what's happening in front. He squirted that away very well. He does favor the offside very much. Sanjay Banga made room for himself and found the gap well. And that's in the air. Someone's getting under it and he doesn't get there. Looks like Corey Collimore, one of the substitute fieldsmen, on for Ryan Hines, who was also a substitute fieldsman, just wasn't quick enough. Didn't really time it too well, Sanjay Banga. It was a very good effort, but still somewhere in his strides, I felt that he wasn't too sure whether he's going to reach it or not, whether he's going to stop, try and stop the boundary or go for the catch. No doubt about that placed very very well by Dravid what an innings he is playing for his team they're celebrating in the aisles oh, that is a big hit and that's gone all the way magnificent from Sanjay Banga well it doesn't matter what he did in the test matches he's seen a different side of him tonight and the crowd they are absolutely delighted. Very well timed by Sanjay Banga. And he's gone over the top and it's flown well clear of the sweeper cover. Sanjay Banga has become a banger. He certainly has Sanjay and Draker. This is outstanding. He's just leant back on this. He's come back over the wicket, Pedro Collins, and just opened up the offside for the right-hander. And Wavell Hines, well, all he can do is just wave this over the rope. That is just brilliant. And more to come. That's gone very quickly to third man. And the 300 comes up for India. Five overs to go, 302 for five. 
That's his 50, Sanjay Bangar. The crowd is delirious. And Sanjay Bangar is a well, low profile cricketer, not very expressive. But I'm sure he is equally happy. And his first 50 in one day cricket. Well, he's going to get his 100 here. Comfortable too. And that's 100 for Rahul Dravid. One of the more important one-day hundreds. And he knows it. Job not yet done. Look at the Indian players. They realize the value of the innings. His eighth one-day hundred. And look at the score now. And again, he's gone straight down the ground. And the ball has skidded off the turf for another boundary to Sanjay Bangar. The crowd chanting, you little beauty. Sanjay Bunga, the sheet anchor role in the Test Series as an opening batsman. Well, he's come in here as number seven and simply smoked it to all parts. And it just seems like uh, Kalupa has given up that last delivery. It was just bowled casually by Kalupa for Dravid to pick up another boundary. And the writing is now on the wall. Very much so, Sanjay. A foregone conclusion really just the five now off 19 and India well they've come back into it there we have a couple of more runs and Rahul Dravid making sure that Sanjay Banga doesn't take it too easy he got the younger partner to get to the other end to complete the formality of two runs and register the score 325 for five in the scorebook which means that this is the third best run chase ever in one day cricket. The crowd are out of their seats and so are we, Sanch. We're standing up here absolutely fired up. We've seen an incredible chase. We went on about the match at Lords and that was under natural light. That was in the daytime. This here is a heck of an achievement when you think the conditions that suited the West Indies pacemen have bounced. It went through early on with the new ball and 325 for five in 47.4 overs it seems like they coasted it it was struggling there for a little bit mid time at 148 for three you thought the west indies had a little bit more control of this game but really it's rahul dravid and sanjay bunga turned it round and they are the big heroes here tonight well we just mentioned the third best run chase ever and it was done with 16 balls to spare with five wickets in hand so again batting totally dominating the bowling here in this series yet again we nearly had a team batting first and winning it wasn't to be and the hero of the day Rahul Dravid unbeaten 109 of 124 balls just the eight boundaries but he worked hard rotated the strike built up a good partnership to start with the previous Lakshman then he lost Yuvraj Singh and Mohamed Kev the two young guns at important stages and he just carried on and then he found Sanjay Bangar, who surprised everybody with his performance today.